because we got some big, 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 big news coming out of Nikon. And that is that not the Nikon Z6 and the Z7, as well as the uh, Z6 II and the Z7 II, will get support for both ProRes RAW in terms of the new update that allows you to get control of ISO and white balance in, um, in Final Cut. But also, if you have a Blackmagic recorder, you can now gain access to Blackmagic RAW through the Z6 and the Z7. Now, if you have the original uh, Z6 and Z7, um, you will still have to pay to get that firmware update, which is, I believe, like $200. But if you got the Z6 II or the Z7 II, you now can, it should, it should automatically be in there. So all you have to do is just buy, all you have to do is just do the firmware upgrade and you get, well, if you're, uh, if you're using ProRes RAW or you're using an Atomos, you get ProRes RAW. If you're using a Blackmagic recorder, like, and this has to be the newer ones, the 12G H, HDR and uh, the 7 inch and the 5 inch. And let me actually turn this off. Sorry about that. Um, so you'll need the, you'll need a black magic because black magic raw does not work on animals. So you can't use an animals for black magic raw, just like you can't use a black magic recorder for ProRes raw. And we'll get into that. Like I said, I, I this thing is so big. And, and now with this news, I think I want to have another discussion between these two raw colors, but you can access the ProRes raw. And in this case, Black Magic Raw will give you support of 4K up to 60 frames per second. So now you're talking about a 12-bit, 12-bit uh, raw codec up to uh, in 4K up to 60 frames per second for the Z6 and Z7. That's a. This is a really, really huge deal. And I'm gonna just read the article real quick. Uh, as mentioned in the initial during the initial announcement of Nikon's two mirrorless cameras, the Z6 and Z7 II, both will be eligible for a firmware upgrade to add RAW over the HDMI cable. It does not come with the camera out of the box. As with RAW over the HDMI, uh, as with the previous one, though it is still a $200 pay upgrade. Okay, so I'm sorry, cr cr correction. You still have to pay the $200, you still have to pay $200 to upgrade this. So, uh, to get ProRes RAWs. But now, um, we, but we already knew about the ProRes RAW support would be coming in the form of Atomos Ninja V, but now Blackmagic has confirmed to No Film School that they also will be supporting the Z2, uh, Z62, Z72, 4K 60p uh, Blackmagic RAW recording in the Blackmagic Video Sys 12G monitors. So the um, the seven inch version and the five inch version will support this. Um, and if you already upgraded your Z6 or Z7, you'll get it with those twos. So both generations of the Z6 and the Z7 will now get Black Magic Raw. Um, this is, is is pretty huge, especially if you're somebody who's really like my um, love Nikon's ecosystem. You love their glass, you, but Nikon was always lacking behind because of because Canon and Sony were just continuing to push things forward, and it's like they were sort of slowing down, and they're still coming out with glass with their Z lineup. So, but now that Black Magic Raw is coming, it now opens up. So anybody who want maybe wanted to look at the Z6, but personally, did, but they um they they don't work in Final Cut and in Premiere again. Premiere was limited, but now um, I, I think it's still limited. But with Final Cut, you can now get the white balance and ISOs. Premiere you can use it, but it's limited. And whereas Black Magic Raw. In Premiere, you get the full controls just like it was in DaVinci Resolve. And if you're a DaVinci Resolve user, you now gain the ability to use raw controls over that. So uh, this is this is a pretty big deal. Um, this is a pretty big deal. So now, especially for Blackmagic, especially, especially with this war between Blackmagic and Apple with these raw codecs, um, because now Blackmagic has four four different third party company camera companies that supports their raw codec. They started off with Canon with the C three hundred Mark II and Panasonic with the EVA one. Those were the first two to be announced with it, and then Sigma came out um, 
and then Sigma came out uh, showing support with their Sigma FP, showing support for Blackmagic Raw, and now Nikon is the fourth company to have cameras that will support Blackmagic Raw. So we're, so we're starting to see a domino effect here. So Blackmagic is slowly, slowly but surely catching up with, Pro, with Apple and Atomos in terms of raw codex support for third-party companies. So really, 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 really exciting news there. Um, so I th especially for like Adobe users, uh, I think they're going to really, really um, enjoy that. Uh, let's see here. If only DaVinci accepts ProRes Raw, a lot more cameras inherit it now. Yeah, um, I don't see that happening because, I, like I said, their Blackmagic has is not intending to adopt ProRes, um, the, the Raw codec. They want to beat ProRes Raw. They want to beat Apple on that. It, it, I don't have any insider knowledge of that. It's just my interpretation of just how things are going. They want to be the premier Raw codec user, not and not Apple. So these two are going to be butting heads for a while. So honestly, I don't think we'll get to see support on either platform of the other codec until there's a definitive winner.